Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to study Prim's algorithm. We are also going to implement Prim's algorithm programmatically. So we have already seen in the previous tutorials all the spanning trees that we can generate from this given graph. Now we will implement the Prim's algorithm and we will find out the minimum of all these uh, all the spanning trees that we've obtained so far and we will also do it programmatically. So what I just want you to do is you have to see this video and after this you can implement this whole uh, Prim's algorithm in C++. The link of that video is in the description below. All right, so let's start with the Prim's algorithm now. So now you can see uh, in Prim's algorithm, we try to find out the minimum cost out of all the given spanning trees. So if we have a graph here, you can see uh, we have some vertex in this graph and we have some weighted edges in this graph. And we have, we're visualizing this graph in the form of a two dimensional array, which you can see here. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to find out the, we'll have to find out a minimum spanning tree. So now if you will see, we have a lot of spanning trees that we can generate from this graph, but we will have to find out the minimum one, the one which gives me the minimum value when I will consider these vertex and edges, we will have to find out the cost of the whole uh, spanning tree should be sum up to minimum, right? So now here are the vertex and edges. And so let's see how we can do that. So Prim's algorithm, one important thing about Prim's algorithm is that uh, we have to first, our objective is to generate the minimum spanning tree. That's the objective of Prim's algorithm and it is a greedy algorithm. So I'm going to write greedy here. It is a greedy algorithm. So at each and every step, we are going to, this algorithm is going to make a greedy move, right? So if we consider any particular vertex, let's suppose we consider three as a vertex. Let's suppose I consider three here. And if I consider this vertex, you can see there are edges going from this vertex, which has weights, uh, eight, three, five, and two. So what we have to do is in the Prim's algorithm, it will find the edge. Uh, it will find the edge which has the minimum cost. So you can see four, three is the minimum cost, which is two here. So this algorithm will do this recursively again and again. So let's see how we can do that in our program. And now you can see here, we have created a two dimensional array. So basically, we are going to use an adjacency matrix to perform the Prim's algorithm. So we are going to visualize this graph in a form of two dimensional uh, matrix, which you can see here. These are the columns and rows. So how can we generate this type of uh, damage, uh, two dimensional array? As you can see, we have index positions here, zero, one, and two, three, four. These are the basically the vertex numbers 0, 4, 3, 1, 2 like these and we have the edges and uh, if you will particularly see a particular vertex you can actually find out the edge under that uh, index. For example, if we will uh, have a unvisited array, we will also have an unvisited array and a visited array. We will create two additional arrays. The unvisited array will have those vertex which we have not visited yet, which is the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the visited array will be uh, initialized at uh, null initially, and then we are going to push the vertex in the visited array to find to find and see whether we have visited a particular vertex or not. So if we have visited three or we have visited any particular vertex, we are going to push it inside the V array. All right, so the next step is that we will have to generate the solution. So let's see how, how our solution, which is also the output. This is our output. So let's see how we can generate the output here. So in the output, we will have the minimum spanning tree with the edges. And first, we are going to pick up the first element from our unvisited visited array, which is zero. So we are going to push it in the V array. You can see that this is the zero in the V array. So we are going to actually 
pick up a particular vertex you can pick up any vertex we are put uh, we will first pick up zero and you can see uh, these are the vertex which are connected to zero so in the visited array we have zero as the picked or the visited vertex you will have to visit the column number z uh, the row number zero you can see that here we have zero and here we are going to visit the zeroth row of this two dimensional array so we are going to visit it, uh, the zero then we are going to visit one two three and so on and in this manner we are going to cover the whole vertex we which we have in the spanning tree all right so let's visit zero and let's see how the prince algorithm will proceed so you can see that this is the whole column this one is the whole sorry row this one is the row which corresponds to zero vertex and you can see there are some non-zero values here we are going to only pick the non-zero values so we have crossed the zero values so we can see four five and two are the remaining values and we are going only considering those values the reason is that because the zero values are not uh, corresponding to any particular edge right so here in this row in the row number zero we have four and we have five and we have two as the non-zero values now these are the values that we are uh, the prince algorithm is going to proceed with the greedy algorithm will pick up the minimum cost out of all these you can see if we visit four vertex then you can see the value is actually two so let's see how we can actually pick up the minimum value first what we will do is we will actually uh, write an algorithm which will be able to pick the minimum element so the idea is basically to assign the first value as the min value we will create an integer min we will assign it to four and then we will start comparing it with the other non-zero values we will compare it with five and if it is less than zero we are going to update the value of min so min will become five if it is less than but you can see that five is greater than four so min will not hold the value five then we will visit the next non-zero value which is two here you can see and since two is less than four we will assign the minimum as two so now you can see how greedy algorithm we are using greedy algorithm to find out the minimum value which is 2 and we are going to do this with each and every vertex now since you can see 4 is the corresponding column of this value which is also the vertex so now we are going to push uh, we are going to first write the output here so if we visit 0 we will be able to reach 4 because the minimum cost at 4 is you can see it's 2 so we will write the value here so 0 to 4 gives me 2 so you can see we will write 2 here in the output and this is basically the minimum spanning tree the output that we will get we will write 0 4 2 all right so now since we have visited 2 we will see that the corresponding edge is 4 so we are going to push 4 in the visited array after pushing 4 in the visited array we are going to consider the fourth row so this is the vertex 4 we are visiting the vertex 4 and the fourth row is here and in this row we are again going to slash out all the va zero values because they are not the edges then you can see that we have two values and both are two now the next step is to find that the value corresponding to the this value which is 2 here is already inside the visited array or not so you can see that 0 here is actually inside our visited array so it's in our visited array so we are going to skip that value we are going to slash it and again we are going to in the visited array we are going to move to the next value which is you can see here uh, it will be 2 so after going uh, after disregarding 0 we are going to reach 2 here so we will uh, in the solution we will use 4 so 4 and you can see the corresponding value of the column is 3 and the value that we get is of the edge is 2 so I am going to write 2 here so it means that when we are going from 4 to 3 we have visited 4 and the value is 2 now you can see the value 3 we are going to visit 3 now so we are going to push 3 inside our visited array which is 3 here 
Now we're going to visit the third row of the two dimensional array. You can see here that we have visited three now. Now we can use the array. Let's suppose we have you know, our array as I'm going to write, let's say we have a multi-dimensional array G. We can actually try to access a particular row by using, let's say we want to visit four. So we can write four here and we will be able to access the whole row in this manner. So now we're going to visit three and you can see this is the vertex three. Again, we're going to slash out the zero values, which we have done, yeah, we have done now. Now the remaining values, we have to slash out those values, which we have already visited, right? So five is, uh, you can see zero is already visited and uh, four is also visited. So we are slashing out two. So we have the remaining values three and eight, and then we are going to again use the algorithm to find out the minimum value, which is three here. Again, we are going to push the solution inside our solution, you can see that three goes, uh, the value that it gives is three and the corresponding column is one. So three to one gives me three. So the next step is you can see we are going to push one now because the corresponding column is one. Now we will visit the first vertex and the corresponding uh, visited array. We are going to view the corresponding row. Here we will again slash out the zero values and again we will slash out those values corresponding to the column numbers which we have already visited. So three will also get cancelled and we have the remaining value as one only. So uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to push it in the output one to two gives me the value is one here. So I'm going to write one. So this is my whole solution. This is the minimum spanning tree that we have obtained, we have covered all the vertices. Now you can see we have covered zero and we have covered uh, four, three, one, two. We have covered all the vertices. So it is a spanning tree and the cost uh, is also a minimum cost of the spanning tree. So this is how our, how our solution will look like, how we are going to uh, implement the Prince algorithm. So if you have watched this video, you can actually check out a new video on Prince algorithm in C++, I will give the link to that in the description below. So you can implement it yourself. So let's construct the minimum spanning tree. First, I will write all the vertices 0, 4, 1, 2 and 3. These are the vertices. And now I will assign the cost to them. 0, 4 gives me 2, then 4, 3 gives me 2. And then 3, 1 gives me 3, 1, 2 is 1. So in this manner, we have got this minimum spanning tree, MST. And that's how we can use the Prince algorithm to find out the minimum spanning tree of a given graph.